there. Are you looking to customize the wallpaper in your Zoom meeting? Or maybe you saw somebody had a different color as their background in their Zoom meeting and you're curious how to do that? And caveat here, I'm not talking about virtual backgrounds. I'm talking about your actual meeting background and I'll get more into that in just a little bit. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We dive even more into some of these topics about event planning, event production, is Zoom dead? what it's like I've done work at the Olympics, all kinds of things that we go into even more in depth than what I do on YouTube in a little bit longer form. Think about 25, 30 minutes. So listen wherever you listen to podcasts. So this is part of a series I'm doing around Zoom's latest release that went out in April 2024. So this was 6.0. There's been some iterations of, you know, 6.1.1. But anything 6.0 was a pretty big update. If you haven't dived into that, I have a good just kind of general overview that I'm going to link below um, for you to take a look at. And what I'm doing now is I'm breaking down kind of the more noticeable features and or the more functional features if you are someone who utilizes Zoom meeting a lot for meetings or maybe even events. And so one of the cool things that Zoom rolled out recently was now that you can customize your wallpaper of your meeting. And how we define the wallpaper is it's the black space that's around your Zoom boxes. So for most of you, it's going to be black. That's your default. And Zoom has now opened up some other colors as well as the ability to customize with an image as the background for your Zoom meeting. Now, my caveat here and for any of these features in that uh, Zoom has rolled out, I've seen this happen time and time again. If you have updated your Zoom, you will be able to see the wallpaper. Any attendee who has updated their Zoom will be able to see the wallpaper. Unfortunately, folks who have not updated their Zoom to 6.0 or even more recent, they will not see this feature. So this is a big caveat. I've done this before. Some other Zoom features, when they're still new, you know, a couple months, even only a year old, some folks have not gone around to manually updating their Zoom. I will link to that video I have about how to update your Zoom. But even me as like a Zoom professional, I would say, I update my laptop Zoom all the time. I'm a little less savvy at doing it for my iPad or even my phone. And so I will find that I'm actually at an older version on my iPad. So if I tuned in for an event on my iPad, I would not see some of these custom features I'm talking about. That is not a big enough reason to not know how to use this. So let's hop into Zoom. So here we are in Zoom, my lovely Zoom section of just having two of me. So I am the host of this Zoom meeting, and this is again a host feature that you can utilize. I am using at least Zoom 6.0. I am on a Mac. So you can see along the bottom, there's a lot more controls I see as the host than I would as an attendee. Now to find the wallpaper feature, I've started my Zoom meeting. You go up to in the right-hand corner to view, From the drop-down menu, you're going to click Set Meeting Wallpaper. You're then going to see this lovely pop-up that shows all these different gradients that you can pick. And you can see I'm going to click the first one. You can see this is what's changing around me. See how that blue? I'll take it away so you can see. There was a black border around my video. Now there is a blue border around my video. All right, I made my window a little bigger just so you can see it. So black, you can see the left and right. And if there were more of us, it'd be above and below me. You can make it blue. You can make it pink. You can make it the desert. Zoom's kind of having some fun with these. You can set it here. And it's as it says, all meeting participants would see this behind their uh, wallpaper. There's also this cool little checkbox here. You can set it so their backgrounds are transparent. This is a funky one. Um, it is a way for you, again, to have one look and feel for your entire meeting. You can see it does start to do that, like cutting off of the hair, or if I wave my hand a lot, it doesn't track necessarily. But this is a cool idea so that you're essentially making the virtual background for all your attendees, but it's as a wallpaper. So that's where you'd find this is a wallpaper, and then there you go, Zoom. You know you know me too well, Zoom. You have your own disclaimer, may not work for all participants. Again, if they're on an older version of Zoom, they will not see these effects. So that's how to do it on the front end, and it's letting you just pick from their set wallpapers right now. So that's one for setting your wallpaper. You can also go here to theme, change theme. So Zoom is letting you now pick classic is just the black. You can go to bloom, which looks like it's more of their blue colors. You can also go to agave. That's a little bit more of a greenish tone. Or you can go to 
rose, which I think we can all guess is more of a reddish pink tone. So I'm going to stay classic for me. So that's the wallpaper feature in Zoom where you're able to customize it as well as customize your theme in Zoom. And that's just to add a little more color. I think the way that I will utilize this feature moving forward, at least for the time being, is honestly, I don't think I'll use it that much unless I'm looking to add some levity or fun to a meeting and I want to surprise some folks and change up the wallpaper to something, one of those kind of funky colors. But for my use personally, I don't think I'm going to be utilizing it as of right now. I can see if it up, it upgrades and they allow you now to put a custom wallpaper that that would be of interest. That is a feature they have in Zoom webinar and Zoom events where you're able to make your own custom kind of like background for people. Um, so that could be something that's interesting, I think, in the future. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye on. But I think right now, unless it fits your brand and feel, I don't think I'm going to necessarily be utilizing it as much, again, also because I'm so hesitant with some of these new features that like really change what you're looking at. If not everyone has updated their Zoom, it's going to be really tough. But I do like the idea that you could make the background everybody else's background. That transparency feature I showed you is kind of a cool one if you want to, the ability to, again, kind of uniform everyone in your Zoom meeting without having to send everyone individually their virtual background. And I feel like for teachers or anybody who's trying to make sure they just hold the attention of the group in these smaller group settings, this is going to be just something fun to shake up their Zoom screens. So hopefully you learned a little bit more about Zoom and the new 6.0 features. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.